Good morning everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Sarah Jane. I'm a PR practitioner living in DC. I make a lot of content on wedding planning, grad school at Georgetown, personal finances and reading. So if that sort of content interests you, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe because it really helps support my channel. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Today we are doing my 2023 reset, which is super exciting. I cannot believe 2023 is upon us. I just feel like 2022 went by so fast. So I wanted to sit down for a second and just kind of reflect on how I did on my goals last year and set my goals for 2023. Before we even get started into this, like let's talk about what happened in 2022. I started off the year we, on my debt-free journey, paid off my car um, for Christmas last year as a present to myself, and um, I was like ready to go, and then Trey proposed at the end of January, and my life completely dramatically changed, because it is like a life-changing experience. Um, so it has been a wonderful year full of wedding planning, a lot of stress uh, to do with Georgetown. So it's definitely been a year, but a great year. Um, so. Reflecting on my goals last year. My first goal was to be debt-free. Obviously. I made that goal before Trey proposed So that did not happen um, But I'm not upset about it like that's the thing about life Sometimes your priorities change my our priorities changed because we were trying to cash flow the wedding as much as possible So um, that didn't happen. My next goal was to double my photography income um, My goal so that meant that this year I would hit $2,600 and let me see what I actually have gotten. Okay, so checking the numbers, um, I made $1,065 from photography last year. This year I made $1,277, so I did not quite double it, but I did increase it, so I am happy that I at least increased it that much, especially because my goal had been to put so much more effort into my photography and I really didn't put that much effort into my photography because of wedding planning. So the fact that it only went up that amount, I'm not actually that upset about. Next was a YouTube goal was to cash out every month. That still actually hasn't happened. Um, and I think that actually goes a lot into my next personal goal, which is to hit 10K. At the time of filming this, um, so when I filmed that video, I had 9,293 followers, and at the time of filming this video, I have 9,498. So I did go up about like 250 followers um, here or there, you know, just shy of that. So um, I did increase in followership, but not as much as I wanted to, which means that I'm not cashing out every month. Um, so that's still something that I am working on. Uh, next goal was to do 150 workouts. I can't, I didn't track this and I don't know why I thought I was going to be able to track this. Um, so that did not happen. <laughs> um, I definitely did go through a lot of like different, um, physical goals this year. So I canceled my gym and I joined Orange Theory and then I canceled Orange Theory and did like private pri bridal training and then I, you know, stopped my plan with that and now I'm back at the gym. So I've definitely had lots of variations of like my physical journey um, that I've dealt with <laughs> this year. Last but certainly not least is to read nine books and I definitely did that. I actually read 24 books this year, which is insane. Um, and I loved almost all of them, which was amazing. So I definitely achieved that goal. Um, cause the previous year in 2021, I only read eight. So it was really important to me that I like read more than that. Um, so I definitely fulfilled that goal. So that's how I did in the year 2022. So my word of the year was growth. Um, back in 2021, my word of the year was healing. I had gone through, um, breakups, not just like in my romantic relationships, but also in some of my friendships and, I had to do a lot of healing that year and in 2022 I grew a lot not just in myself but like the people I surround myself with um, which leads me into 2023 what I want my word to be and I want that to be dreamer or dreaming I guess is the word I should say. Um, I think 2023 has a lot of great things coming my way and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and share what those 2023 goals are. Okay, so here are my 2023 goals. I am utilizing Notion. I have not used Notion a lot in the past, so I'm pretty excited to try to use it more. This year, I feel like it's a really nice organized way to kind of 
handle things so i am using it this year so going into um kind of what i have set up so it's pretty short for right now i think this is going to grow a lot as 2023 evolves but this is this is where we're at so starting with this cute little like saying i did to, for myself i said each year is a great year but let's make this year amazing and then i found this cute little quote that said people often say that motivation doesn't last well neither does basing that's why we recommend it daily so i thought that was a really cute way to start off and like look um and then i put the time and date over here and i just put a cute little aesthetic right here um so let's talk about some of my goals so i have five goals this year which is one last than last year i had six goals last year so the first goal is a pretty simple one, but it's still like really, really important uh, is to get married. Trey and I are supposed to get married in March. We are now 98 days away from the wedding, which is insane. We have now hit double digits and yeah, it's just becoming a blur, but there's a lot of things that go behind wedding planning, but obviously I just want to get married. Um, that's obviously very life changing for me. So yeah, that's the first thing. The second thing is to finish Georgetown. Um, so the way I have it, sort of laying out in my head is that I'm taking this next semester off so I can actually focus on wedding planning. Um, I trying to wedding plan to work and go to school was really, really stressful in the fall semester. So I don't want to take a class while I'm trying to like get married. Um, so I'm taking spring off. I'm going to take my last elective in the fall and then I'll take my capstone in the fall. Um, or I'll take my elective in summer and then I'll take my final class in the fall and capstone which will be really stressful a lot of people also fail capstone so that is a goal because I think it's going to be kind of challenging at the tail end of this year um, my third goal is to start debt payoff so if you guys have been around for a while you know that I've been on a debt-free journey before it in 2021 um and it was amazing i started i think at the either at the beginning or in the middle of 2021 and i just like really put my mind to it i paid off my car like a year early i had lots of goals and then obviously i got engaged and now that's not the financial priority so what i plan on doing is um getting married getting through the honeymoon and then after the honeymoon sitting down with my fiance and just like really talking about our financial goals and how we plan to achieve them one of them being debt payoff and um I wish I could go ahead and like start having that conversation now, but I can't because there are so many variables that go into wedding planning that you honestly sometimes can't even um, predict. So it's just easier to wait until all of the wedding is over so that we can actually like focus on debt payoff and how that's going to look like, what method is best for us, whether that's the snowball method, um, the avalanche method, all that kind of stuff. Um, so we plan on starting that probably in april april may time frame so be sure to stick around and uh come back for that uh next goal is to hit 10k on youtube i want to do this i want to do this so bad so here's to fingers crossed um i think i was mildly like consistent this year so i don't know if i should really like bump up my scheduling and how much i'm posting i think that might help we'll see i did kind of niche down a lot more this year versus before i don't think i've been really that niche so we'll just do consistency and hope that is key and then my last goal for the year is to leverage tiktok um i have started doing like bridal videos on tiktok and i really really enjoy it i've just found that i've been so busy with everything that's been going on so in the new year i really want to use that more um because i think it's like a really fun app it's one of my favorite apps and i just want to get on it more and be a face um so those are my five goals for 2023 um over here i do have a couple other things that don't really go with my 2023 reset like my fitness goals and this is like if you click on this this is an it debt plan my content scheduling calendar is here um holidays and like mood boards for holidays so that i can do stuff and then some travel i really do want to get some travel in this next year in 2023 especially before Trey and i have kids and just enjoy this time of life together um so that's kind of what i've put overall in my 2023 reset i feel like i should also put my word here somewhere so that way i don't forget it all right so the last thing i want to talk about are my favorite books of 2022 and like i really had to think about it uh, i was like oh gosh there were so many good reads but i wanted to narrow it down to three um so two of them i have with me one of them i do not the first one gosh guys it was so amazing it was Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. I honestly might read this again because it is like a very wintry book. 
it was a five star read for me i loved this book essentially this book is about a couple it's, it's a thriller by the way in terms of genre um it's about a couple whose marriage is really struggling so they get take a getaway and they experience a lot of like really strange things in their getaway and it's just full of lots of like twists and turns and each like when you get married each um anniversary is supposed to be like a different uh, kind of gift and so it goes into her letters with the gift and it's it's a great book I love this book I'm not doing it justice I highly recommend it if you're looking for a read um, so this was my first one my second favorite book would probably be the one I don't have with me which is the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo um, I let a friend borrow it so I loved that book that was how I got into Taylor Jenkins read and I just it follows Evelyn Hugo who becomes a star and she has these seven husbands and like the journalist that's doing the interview with her, her is trying to figure out well who is your ultimate love um and it was a fascinating story full of twists and turns and I loved every minute of it and I cannot recommend it enough the last book uh, of my top three 2022 reads is The Court of Thorns and Roses, so the Akatar series. Um, in terms of my favorite book in the series, the first one, this is the first one, is not actually my favorite book. I felt like you just had to get through this book to really get into the story, but the second and third book are absolutely amazing. amazing. Um, I didn't love the novella as much, um, and this last book, um, Echo Saf, I don't know, A Court of Silver Flames. This one I've had for a while and I'm having a hard time getting into it only because I haven't really had time to enjoy it. Um, so over the Christmas break, I do plan on actually reading this, but the whole series in general is absolutely amazing. Loved it. Like if you're looking for a good series, this is so talked about on BookTok, BookTube. This is amazing. I highly recommend it. So anyways, that is it for everything on my 2023 reset. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am looking forward to this new year. I hope you guys are too. Let me know in the comments below what you have going on this year and what you're excited for. I just feel like really good things are coming and I cannot wait. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Me out in the still Evening chill What a thrill Alone on Christmas with you